Gorky, do you know anything that can help us? Or maybe... No. How the hell do I rescue a ship that's 130 years in the future? So you believe that? I don't know, but there's no help to be found in the present. So I might as well try to find help in the future. Okay, then let's pose it that the corona is in the future and we proceed from there. That means that the Bento's transmission can send and receive from the present. Receive from the future. Hmm. Receive, uh, send and receive from both the present and the future. Um, receive from the send and receive both from the f present and the future. Exactly. Maybe we can find another ship in the future to help. There are no other ships there. The discovery being would detect them otherwise. I don't know if it's because L ship is the only thing we can perceive in the future or because there's really no one else. But the reasons behind this phenomenon are meaningless right now. We should disregard the cause and concentrate on the effect. Maybe we can find another ship in the present to help. We try, there's only the can. Are we sure the can is in the present? It seems so, otherwise we would have found the corona. Also, Elle said that the Khan's corporation said Great Low is in her past. Am I a Rika boy, Carl? Scrap these ships. We must think of something else. Ito. Uh, maybe we can... Maybe the future can help us in other ways. The future is already too late. What do you mean? Carl, I have to tell you something that's going to hurt you. One of my subroutines can track people's health by analyzing their speed waves and patterns. It's not super precise, but... but... I can't be sure about the rest of the crew, but Miss L has two, maybe three days left. But... no, she doesn't seem that weak. It's different with the level of stress she's under, Carl. Starvation will bring weakness and euphoria and maybe fits of rage. But the immediate problem isn't the food, it's her heart. Fuck! Maybe the present can help us in other ways. Oh, but obviously... The report mail. Exactly, Branko reads those with super close attention. And if you tell them about a time-space anomaly, I know they will be interested. I only care that they decide to send help 130 years from now. Oh, they will. Brainco will want to help the Corona in order to confirm this space anomaly. But are they going to believe me? I will add my special anomaly alert stamp to the mail. Wait, you have an anomaly alert stamp? Oh, yes. It's not really a stamp, though. It's more like a special code. But I like to call it stamp because it sounds so much better. Why do you have that code? Stamp. Gorky. Uh... You know this sector is considered the Bermuda Triangle of Space, right? Except it's more like the Bermuda Pyramid. What? I didn't know that. Yeah, it's kind of a secret. Did anything like this happen in the past? No, no, nothing like this. Never a clear signal. It sounded more like whale chants, you know. Ooh. Okay, let's just write this mail and save L. Yes, let's save the future from the past. Watch my st with my stamp. With your coat. Uh, nasty. Don't forget to write the normal report too. That will prioritize the mail even more. Rescue operation required at coordinate sector in November of the year 2562. This neither a drill nor a drug, this is real. The year is 2562, 130 years from now. Log and more info following. Detailed. Two days ago I was contacted by El Cato, a technician aboard a stranded ship, the Corona. 
Their food reserves have been exhausted for days and they required urgent rescue. I contacted a great low warship, the Khan. Its captain, Grey DiMaggio, was reluctant but after some convincing she changed course and went to help. Today she arrived at the coordinates but the corona wasn't there, which on a side made her so angry that she fired two words at me, which is why you'll find that I had to scramble the pentos position in order to hide it. Except the corona is there, it's just the wrong time. Somehow the pentos radio waves can send and receive both from the present and 130 years from the future. Play on their greed. As crazy as it sounds, imagine what Benko could do if they understood how this is happening. This is why I trust you to investigate this anomaly and send a rescue ship 130 years from now. You are given a great opportunity for science and for your cooperation. An opportunity whose only price is saving lives. It's a good price. Please help. Don't let the corner screw die. Don't let L die. That should work, Carl, but remember to add the regular logs. Secondary knows about the last day's follow. There have been various breakages, including the oxygen and cooling systems. I highly recommend sending a repair team to do a complete check, because this station is falling to pieces and I'll soon need rescue too. Uh, um, I really like that grumpy silent dino. I could feel him watching me while I slept and it was a little creepy, but after a while it becomes somehow soothing, as if he wasn't just watching me but watching over me. Anyway, he said no. It was kind of heartbreaking. Gorky has been helpful but continues to behave like some mad monk out of a folktale. Or something like that. I guess that's what you wanted anyway. Hey! I like that definition. Gorky the mad monkey. I'm still doing the injections every night as per my contract. And I still hope you're not poisoning me. Just so you know, I found a switch on vibrator hidden inside the console. I have no idea if the console was enjoying it, but I bet Corky knows all about it, even if he won't tell. I have no idea what you're talking about. Sincerely, Carl Humba. I need to create a duplex. Oh, right, duplex path. I need to leave the link as it as is for a while longer. Hmm? Okay. Okay, time to see if it worked. I'm calling her Gorky. Please don't answer, Miss L. Why do you say that? If she's not there, it means our mail changed the future and she's already been saved. We would be time space heroes. I don't care about being heroes, I just care about her. And the rest of her crew. Elle, are you there? I'm here, yes, what a surprise. At least I'm not crying anymore. I'm probably too weak even for that. Please tell me you have good news. Carl, Carl, can you hear me? Yes. I... I'm so sorry, L. I I thought I had found a way, but it didn't work. Oh. Okay. What, what didn't work? I alerted the people I work with. Asked them to rescue the corona 130 years from our present. And I think they did, or will do it, but I realize now that it's not how time works. I understand. Or at least I think I do. You're saying that you probably changed the future, but not your future. You talking about parallel dimensions and all? Yes, and all. Just not all enough. My impression is that they are not parallel, but concentric, where each possibility expands into a new, larger dimension. Hey, Gorky. Yes, Miss L. There he comes. It's okay, he's just trying to distract me. Go on, Gorky. Parallel universes are more like fractals. Each possibility gen generates a new branch, and each branch can generate infinite other branches. I can't really imagine an infinite tree, but it must be beautiful. Exactly, you can't imagine it. Infinity aside, a representation of it would never work in three dimensions. It would wrap over itself after a while and stop growing. 
you need a fourth dimension just to conceive it. Concentric dimensions instead. Loki? Miss L. Carl, I'm suffering some kind of malfunction. What's happening? My neurotransmitters are bouncing all over the place. I think... I think I'm heartbroken. Oh, Corky, you're such a cutie. And now I'm crying again. I really wish... I I'm so sorry I failed you. No, no, I mean... <laughs> at least you rescued the L of some other dimension, right? It's just... I really wish I was her. L. Don't worry, Carl. Everything will be alright. Oh my god, that is such a fucking lie. <laughs> Fuck. I guess I need some rest. Will you call me tomorrow, Carl? Yes, obviously I will. Good. I love you, Dad. Well, good night. Good, good night, L. Carl, are you alright? No, I'm not alright at all, Gorky. I haven't been alright in a very long time. Yes, I knew that. Good for you, Gorky. I wish I could cry. Wow. You couldn't save this one either, could you? It's going to burrow into your heart, right where the other one was. Oh, fuck off death, and you left. Aren't helping. Your solution to everything is a locked wardrobe. Well, if it would just burn down the wardrobe and the house and probably the whole town. And you never bring coffee to our meetings. You're angry at me only because I got you, Sal. What? I'm not dead, am I? We're all dead, you idiot, aren't we? Why am I here? Because he is where you're loved. Even if you're always in pain. I love you, Carl. We all love you. I even left my magazines and post-its for you, Carl. Leaving Rasputin the Great behind was an oversight, though. Rasputin the Great? My atomic-powered deep barrel vibrator? Can we not trivialize the word barrel? I already used it in a serious metaphor and you're running now. Carl, what is it that you want? We all know what he wants. We know what he needs, Hope. It's not the same. I want to save... Elle. We all want to save Elle, even Death and Levy. Do not speak on my behalf. Then say it yourself. I don't. I... I want to save Elle. You did all you could, Carl. You must accept that something that's not enough. At least you helped her. Almost as much as she helped you. Okay, enough. Let's be serious for a moment. We all know that was the wrong answer. Come on, Carl. Give us what we want. What we want is what you want. You must say it. And don't say coffee. Whoa, everybody. Dracula made a joke. The universe is gonna implode now. Enough, you're all clueless. I want to wake up. You mean that as an escape from us or as a way to face things the way they truly are? I want to see things truthfully. Then see me, Dad. Eshe? Oh, my sweet baby, I miss you so much. Every minute of every day. I miss you too, Dad, but you must see me. I see you every time I close my eyes. You must see all of it, Dad. L? You must see all of us. You must see the end. You must see yourself. You must accept it. Save yourself, Dad. Do it for us. We love you. Until the end of time and beyond. 
I... I just can't. For whom the beacon tolls. I I just can't. Oh. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I'm really hungry. Why hasn't the food capsule arrived yet? Don't tell me the food is finished already. Did that shouldn't happen. The oven is broken and everything that didn't need cooking is gone. The capsule's never late. Why is it late? Uh, I'm afraid it may be our fault. Oh, fuck the satellites. Yep, the capsule was tricked like raised warheads and went to the wrong address. That's just great. The next one should arrive in a week. Are you sure there's nothing left? Nothing. Not even the milk. You know, I hate that milk. Oh. That won't last. I bet that in a couple of days you'll love it. Artificial wisdom, one of your many qualities. Sarcasm alert. Maybe some milk will cure it. Let's remember to unlock the Bento signal before next week. In four more days it should be safe enough to do that. Cora? Want to chat with the host girl? Did you get some sleep? Not really. Maybe I drifted off a little bit, but I'm too excited. Excited? I I think I accepted what's coming. It feels pretty weird. I feel tired, dizzy, but it also feels as if I'm accelerating toward light speed without even a boom chair. When you can see the end, you also see how fast it's coming, especially if it's not the one you wanted. Which is... which it never is, I suppose. It's almost exhilarating. I... I understand. Does the rest of the crew know? No, it would only make them better. I'm sure they've known for a long while, but anyway, I was the only idiot holding on to some hope. I guess it's because I was the one carrying the heavier weight, and I really, really wanted some redemption. It's... It's all my fault, Carl. It was an accident. Yes, but not the type of accident you think. I destroyed the antique quantum core. I lied to you, Carl. I'm sorry, I didn't know what to do. The original crew of the Corona is all dead. The people that remain, the ones outside my door that have gone bad. They're terrorists. And I'm one of them. What? Terrorists? How? We obviously don't call ourselves that. We just wanted to fight Glowfield. To be free. But the crew of the Corona was civilian, not military. They were just workers like we used to be. And we killed them. What the hell are you talking about? Please, Carl, listen to me. I need to give my full confession. I need you to know the truth. Who did you used to be? I was an endominer on Lena, my home colony, specifically an explosive engineer. What is endominer? Endominers dig through planets, exominers dig through asteroids. Exominers are all uppity with us because they work in space where it's more dangerous, so we don't like them and they don't like us. It's a clever cross-defined caste system. Clever if you're a psychopathic corporation like Glowfill, I mean. Have all the social layers hate each other so they won't talk, won't organize, and you will reap all the benefits of forced labor without any need of physical chains. You know about Glowfield, right? You told me it's what Great Low becomes. Officially, Glowfield is a corporation that deals in laser goods. They specialize in porn fi and organ fibers. Everybody likes a good cover, right? And that stuff is actually cool. Except here we're talking about a corporation that used to be a military. So they realized they would spend way less money if they owned the colonies producing their raw materials. 
and Lina is one of those cornies, right? Yes. And where I was born and lived all my life. It's like a prison. Where you have some free time, but otherwise you better do what they say or you're fucked. A miner has no way to leave the colony. Only cargo and military ships come and go, and they won't hire you. So if you don't comply, they'll just take you away your job and leave you to rot. So you were rebels? We were. We wanted to be. Obviously, as soon as we started fighting back, they called us terrorists. But we never touched civilians. Until the corona. I guess now we really are terrorists. How did you board the corona? We built a small tunnel under the spaceport, hiding inside it for weeks as we were did the digging. Every 10 meters of progress we would close the previous part of the tunnel behind us. It was a crazy and reckless plan, a claustrophobic nightmare. We should have known that it would drive uh, some of us crazy. When we finally were inside the corona, and went in space, and another week had passed, we tried to take control of the ship and all went to shit. Our plan was to capture the crew, pilot the Corona to an allied colony, then steal the cargo and let everybody go, Corona included. But you know how plans go sometimes. Some idiot stops following them. Maybe because he was driven crazy digging the tunnel. Maybe just because he's a fucking asshole. And suddenly, it's a bloodshed. We took some prisoners, but the captain and the rest of the crew locked themselves in the engine room, so we had to blow the door open. And guess who was the explosives expert? What went wrong? I was in a complete panic. I had never seen so much blood. That was not what I had enrolled for. Everybody was telling me to go fast, because the captain could lock the engines in moments and screw us, so I made a mistake. I used too much Triton, Triton, and it blew the engines, and the captain, and the crew that was inside, and the LW communication beams. I almost blew the whole ship. I, I killed so many people, Carl. That doomed the ones that remained. It was still an accident. Yes, but it wasn't. How do they call it? An act of God? It was an act of me. Me, Carl. I didn't want this, but I'm still responsible. You did something unforgivable, but I'm not the one who can judge you for that. I know I can never be forgiven. What I did is so big that all my regret, all my mistakes, are nothing but a whole excuse. But it, it's also so big that somehow my mind can conceive it. It's as if I'm constantly forgetting about it, as if it wasn't me. And then, suddenly, unexpectedly, it comes back. I am a disgusting human being. You're a wonderful human being who did a horrible mistake. But whatever happened, I care for you, Elle. I care for you so much. Oh, come on, this is really not the best moment to be a father figure. I think it is. I want it to be. I, I never met my father. I don't even know who he was. Mom always told conflicting stories about him. I thought I didn't need one. But I'm so grateful you're here, Carl. No, I'm grateful. I don't know anything anymore, not for a very long time, but I know that I'm here for you, unconditionally, Elle. Please, Gor, can you let me talk with her too? Hey, here comes Gorky. Hey, cutie. I'm here for you, unconditionally too, Miss Elle. There, I really wanted to say that. <laughs> You're the cheesiest AI I ever met, Gorky. I... Thank you, both of you. Maybe you should play a song now, Carl. Isn't that what they do in V movies when something tragic and heartfelt happens? <laughs> That's a little pre preposterous, even for you, Gorky. 
I'm rather flattered that you believe that my preposterousness has limits. Wait, you can play songs? Yeah, there's a small MIDI keyboard that activates the pickup. I would really, really love to hear a song. It's been such a long time. I... Maybe I don't deserve it, but... Please, Coral? Baby, please. Please, Dad? Oh, okay, okay. Can you hear the notes? Mm, I don't. Okay, just a second. What about now? Yes, that sounds nice! Okay then, here goes nothing. Don't judge me. I would never! I might even try to sing a little. Let's see how the song goes. Sometimes you need to get so far So truly far to break you free Sometimes you need to see the end you gotta go so you can see and be how far is far enough sometimes you need to see the end to understand all that came first Sometimes the end is all you have. Well, I did strike quite a few false notes, but it was very nice. It was very touching. Yes, touching. Gorky, you want to jump with us? Oh, yes, Gorky sings, but I have to warn you that the drivers for my singing module are not installed. Just do what you can. Let's try Dakota. <laughs> what is the thing on the radar? I am not sure, but it's coming straight at us. What's happening, Carl? It seems like one of the greatest warheads found us. But how? I mocked a bent of signal on the satellites. Maybe it was some kind of AI, and when it entered close range, it adapted to another signal. Okay, 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 what do we do now? Can't you turn off everything? So whatever signal the warhead is following will be cut off. We can't. We have some direct control, but its whole purpose is to restore the system's operativity, not to turn them off. Let me check the manual, maybe I can think of something. Yes, and cut me off now, just in case it's following the radio's waves. But then come back to me. You come back to me as soon as this is over. We will, just wait for us. We can do it, Miss L. Now be quick, Carl, it's coming pretty fast. She just told... No, no, never mind. Okay, it seems I can tweak the working voltages of the energy accumulators. Uh, I don't like where this is going. So I can overload the accumulators one by one until the signal and the warhead is following is cut off. No, 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 you must think of something else, Carl. You could damage the whole electrical system this way. The overload protection system should just cut the accumulators off. Nothing will be damaged. It's that shoot that worries me. We can't risk it. We really, really can't. There's a fucking word coming at us, Corky. Cutting off the accumulators is the definition of acceptable risk. Okay. Let's see. We need card number four, which is the green one. 
So, if I understand correctly, we need it over here as usual. Uh, yes, thank you, I just didn't. Great. Um, and let's see again. Zero, zero, one, 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 zero, zero. Uh, where do I input the code? Accumulators. Control 7, Control L, check 5. is off but the warhead is still heading towards us so the second one how do we okay so we still go um one zero zero one one zero zero one and the other one is one one zero one 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 zero one still nothing zero 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 one 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 Is this not working? Oh, one zero one zero one ten ten. So it's like this zero one zero one. So it's zero one zero one and one zero one zero now. Come on. Oh, it worked! It missed us. That was so close. I have never experienced that with you humans caught thrill before. It was pretty awesome. Can we do it again? Maybe in the time. How long do you think we should wait before I can call Elba? What the? Did the rocket hit us? How? It's not that. The bento is undamaged. Then what was that? Why are we shaking? Maybe debris or the plasma shockwave caused by the satellite's explosion. It's weird though, the satellite is far enough for... 
another one. This is that both of Gray's foreheads called our bluff, and this one must be following a different signal than the other. One accumulator is still on, I'm going to overload that. No, you can't turn everything off, Carl, you will cut me out for sure. Please, you're my best friend, just give it some time, maybe it will avoid us. Don't worry, I'll turn everything back on when we're safe. But it won't be the same. If I wait and the warhead doesn't change direction, then it will be too late to do anything else. I want to leave, Corky. You're... you're right. Do it. But, Carl, remember me like I am now, as your friend. What does that even mean? Just do it. Do it now. 111. Okay, wrong one. Okay. And 1001. Don't mess with uh, Don't mess with me now, you didn't think what? The lever is slipping back into its original position. That's because you're always so rude with machines, Carl. You should be gentler. Gentler, Carl, just move it slowly. What the? This is absurd! How many got the more did she throw at us? At least once. I did all I could. L. She won't even know. I should've told her everything about Esche. I should... just happened? How am I even alive? And how is the band not torn to pieces? That doesn't... I'll try to understand it after I have called L. But before I can do that, I need to find a way to turn everything on again. <laughs> 